This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the Dataflow task. The package will be very simple. I'll just be copying data from an Excel worksheet into a SQL Server table. After I configure the package and execute it, I'll show you how changes to the metadata will require the package to be manually updated before it can be used again. So we'll start out by defining our connection managers. So I right mouse click down here and I go to new connection and I'll scroll down and find the Excel connection manager and then I browse to find the file I'm going to be working with which is the one using Excel 2003 to 2007. Uh, the standard Excel component does not seem to work with uh, the Excel file that I created in Office 365 with a .xlsx extension. So we'll open this one. Okay, so it's actually the version is Excel 97 to 2003. And I leave this box checked that the first row has column names. And then I'll define the OLEDB connection manager, so I write click down here and I go to new Olay DB connection and we'll use the four demos uh, database and I'm going to rename this to Excel source because that's what it's used for and this I'll rename to uh, Olay DB test. All right, now we'll just drag the data flow task onto the control flow canvas. And then I can either double click on this or I can just click on data flow up here. And now I need to scroll down and find the Excel source. And here it is under other sources. Drag that onto the data flow canvas. And I'll double click on that. And it's already selected the connection manager called Excel Source. And then here I need to select the sheet named just plain active without a number after it. And here we can take a quick look. It has columns named A, B, and C. There's data in them. I'll click here on columns and then I click OK. And now I'll use the OLEDB destination down here under other destinations. Drag that onto the canvas. I'll connect the arrow between the source and the destination. Then I double click on the OLEDB destination. And it's already selected the OLEDB dust connection manager. And then I need to select the uh, table that I'm using, which is uh, very plain. It's called OLEDB Destination. And I'll click on View Existing Data. You can see it has the same three columns, A, B, and C. And I close that. And then I need to click on Mappings so that the columns get mapped from the source to the destination. I want to stress the point that the mappings between columns, as well as the metadata, which includes the column names, is now set in the package. Changing the metadata in the source or the destination or the mappings will require the package to be manually updated. And before I execute it, I want to show you the actual Excel file I'm using. So there you can see we have columns A, B, and C in the active worksheet. Now I'll close this because the package will fail if I try to execute it with the Excel file open. And I'll also go over to Management Studio and show you the table. So again, I just have columns A, B, and C. There's no data here. Now I'm going to execute the package. I right mouse click over here in Solution Explorer and I click on Execute Package. 
and it's completed successfully. So I'll stop debugging and then we'll do, go take a look at the data in the table now. So I executed the select statement and there you can see the data got copied over and there's 650 rows. So now I made some changes to the destination table. I removed all of the data that we copied over already and I dropped column C. So now we only have columns A and B. And I have not made any changes to the Excel worksheet. I've not made any changes to the package and I'm going to execute it again. And we get an error. So it failed validation and returned validation status vs needs new metadata. So it detected that there was a change and it wants me to update the package. So I think I only need to update this. I'll go to mappings and now it just automatically dropped the C mapping because there's nothing to map it to in the destination. So I'll save the package and we'll try that again. All right, and it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And then we'll go over to Management Studio and we'll take a look and columns A and B got copied over. And C still remains in the source, but of course it didn't get copied over because that column doesn't exist in the destination. Now I've added column C back in the destination table. Still have not made any changes to the Excel source worksheet. And remember we had to update the package uh, after we dropped column C from the table. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so it was successful. And let's go see what we have in that table. So you see we have um, columns A, B, and C in the source and the destination, but we didn't go into the package and update it to map column C to column C from the source to the destination. So now we will update the source. So you can see column C still appears there and now this is complaining that uh, the data is out of sync. The external columns for the OLADB destination are out of sync with the source columns. So I'll double click on this and now we'll do the mappings and we need to manually map the external column named C to the destination column named C. Okay, so we'll save it and we'll execute it again. All right, and it was successful. Now let's go see if we have all three columns. Oops, I think I forgot to, uh, forgot to delete the contents. So we'll execute this again. So uh, now you can see we get A, B, and C mapped. Um, we have 1,300 rows, so I did not delete what was in there before. There you can see the previous run. But anyway, so now we have all three columns mapped. Now I've changed the Excel source uh, worksheet. I've added column X to the data. So now I'll close this and we'll go to Management Studio. I have also added column X to the destination, an OLEDB destination. I have not made any changes to the package. I didn't even stop it from debugging. And now we'll execute it again. And it was successful. And we'll go to Management Studio and look at the data that was copied over. 
And so we have not updated the package. Um, so even though columns were added to both the source and the destination, um, of course you have to go in and manually update the package so that the mapping takes place of column X in the source to column X in the destination. So we'll go do that now. to manually map the X to the X again. And we'll save it. And now we'll execute it again. All right, and it completed successfully. We'll go over to Management Studio. And I forgot to delete the old records again, but now you can see all four columns were copied over. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? Especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS data flow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. Download CozyRock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio.